Carson Wentz and the Eagles offense will face a Giants defense that's coordinated by James Betcher. Now, James Betcher is in his first year with the Giants, but he spent a number of years as the Arizona Cardinals defensive coordinator, and there's a lot of tools in his toolbox. He can blitz, he can play multiple coverages. Now, we haven't seen all of that with the Giants through five games, but it's there, so you have to prepare for it. One of the things you do see are combination coverages where there's man and zone within the same play. And often they'll do that behind a blitz. There was a very, very good example of that last week against the Carolina Panthers, and it resulted in an interception. Now this was a great example of just what I'm talking about, because what you see here is man technique on the outside by the Giants' corners. But on the inside, you're going to see the inside underneath defenders pass along the routes. They don't match up. So this is really interesting, and it caused a problem for Cam Newton. But first, let's start with the pressure element here, because Landon Collins, one of the most versatile safeties in the NFL, will blitz from the backside of Cam Newton. And Collins does an unbelievable job. He leaps over Christian McCaffrey so he can get quick pressure on Cam Newton. And he's right in Newton's face as he delivers the football. But here's the second part of this now. As I said, there's hybrid man zone concept within the same play. And because this looked like man pre-snap, Cam Newton read this as man coverage. So Newton was leading his tight end, Ian Thomas, across the field, because that's what you do versus man. You run away from man and you lead the receiver across the field. But what happened here is Thomas stopped running and settled into what he believed was a zone void because nobody was running with him and Janoris Jenkins was sitting in his way so he did not want to run right into Janoris Jenkins. So great example. Newton read this as man coverage. Ian Thomas, the tight end, read this as zone coverage. Newton threw the ball. Janoris Jenkins was sitting right there for the easy interception. That's the kind of thing you face when you face a James Betcher defense. A lot of different multiple hybrid coverage looks and pressure concepts. And these pressure concepts can be very difficult. And we know that that's an area in which the Eagles have struggled the last couple of weeks. So this will be a challenge for the offense. All right, the Giants' new defensive coordinator, James Betcher. Eagles are familiar with him, not as many a times as facing the Giants, but what did they see last year when they faced the Cardinals? Well, in the Cardinals, they knew last year that James Betcher likes to bring pressure. Sometimes he'll show you pressure, give you that illusion, and back out. But this time, it's true pressure. And as you run the tape, you'll see how well it's picked up by everybody up front. And Carson recognizes that it's man coverage. It's a zero blitz. Man coverage on the back end, so... Then it's just a matter of him picking out the matchup that he wants. He wants the deep ball down the field to Nelson Aguilar. He steps up in the pocket, delivers a perfect toss, but it all begins with the protection up front and these guys being able to pick up the pressures. And if you look at it from the end zone angle, you'll see how well it's picked up. And this guy, watch how well he handles this pressure. He's gonna ride that nose to his left side and you'll see a stunt coming off the edge He's able to pick up actually two guys. Watch Jason Kelsey here. Takes the nose, rides him down, and this blitzer coming inside, he ends up taking him. It's solid on this side, so it gives Carson an opportunity to step up, pick out the target that he wants, as I said, and he throws it deep to Nelson Aguilar. Big, big play, and they're going to see a lot of this. Betry likes to bring the heat, and again, he'll show heat, back off, so it's a matter of communicating and the guys up front creating that pocket so Carson can throw the football.